I got some new router bits in the other day, but before I can use them with my new rotary axis, I have to enter them into the tool database in VCAR Pro. I'll open up my VCAR Pro, and then I saved a program the other day because I found the uh, router bit profiles on the legacy CNC website, and I'll have a link down below in the description on how to get to these. I purchased two of their barley twist bits. One is the 7558 and the other one is the 7554. So I'm highlighting those profiles here and hitting copy and then going up and hit file new and then pasting them here in this new, new workspace. After pasting them, I'll go find them and stuck them way up there and I'll drag them down and put, just put them right in the center of this uh, work area. Since I actually only need the right half of each one of these, I'm going to draw a line right down the center line here and then use the trim tool to uh, cut off the left side and then I'll also delete the center line that I just drew. Now that I have that done, I'm going to start with this small one here, which is the 7558, and I'm going to come down to my tool database, go to my form tool, highlight the form tool, and then click add, and then use the tool type drop down menu to select form tool. And when I do that, you see that the profile shape already uh, populates there in the tool database. So I'm going to change a few settings here. Uh, it's a two flute. I'm going to put in the notes that it's the 7558 magnet uh, barley twist bit. And then I'm going to put some conservative settings in here as far as the uh, feed rate and depth of pass and stuff like that. Uh, just till I find out exactly what this tool can do. Once I get the settings the way I liked, I'll click Accept and then OK, and I'll move on to the other one, which is the bigger one, the 7554. It's an inch and a half diameter barley twist bit. But I'll go through the same thing, kind of go to the Form Tools, highlight it, click New, uh, use the Tool Type drop-down menu, click Form Tool, and again you see the shape pop in there and then just create some settings and I may tweak a few things here and there uh, again just till I try this tool out for the first time and see exactly uh, how it works and when I'm all done just click apply I'm also changing the uh, tool number I think to 54 in this case uh, since it's 7554 and then click OK after I clicked out of that, I realized that I forgot to add the notes for the larger tool, so I'm going back to the tool database and add the notes for the inch and a half tool while I'm still thinking about it. And again, it was the 7554 uh, magnate uh, barley twist bit. Okay, with that done, I thought I would take you over to the Legacy CNC website and show you where I found that DXF file of all those profiles. You go to their main page and click on Training and then drop down to Customer Support Files. And you'll find, if you scroll down a little bit, where it says Router Bit Profiles, and you will see the 2019 Router Bit Profiles.DXF. And just click on that and download it. Once you have that file downloaded, you can just open up your VCAR Pro and import that DXF file and then just save that as a file and that way you'll have those profiles from now on whenever you buy a new tool. It'll be easy to go here and uh, open it up and get the new file. I've got some material about 13 and a half inches long by roughly an inch and a half square and before I can use the barley twist, I have to make a rounding tool path to turn it into a cylinder. So I'm changing the, um, I'm going to make the link here about 12 inches 
the diameter 1.4 I'm going to use the center line of the axis as well as the center for the XY datum position and then click OK then I'm going to come over to the gadgets and do the drop down menu and create a rounding toolpath for my rounding toolpath I'm going to tell it that I have a square blank of approximately inch and a half I'm going to use the optimized raster um, machining method and then I need to select a tool so I'm just going to pick a quarter inch end mill for this operation and then I can make sure all the settings are correct for that select it and then check down below to make sure that my cylinder says 12 inches by 1.4 and I'm good Now I'm going to come over here to the toolpath and just preview my rounding toolpath to make sure it looks correct. And the toolpath looks okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight that toolpath again and go to my save and save it to my folder so I can go out there and run it. Okay, now it's time to create the toolpath for the barley twist. I'll go to VCAR Pro and open up a new file. Make sure that my job type is set to rotary. I'm going to make the length 8 inches, the diameter 1.4 inches, and everything else looks good there and click OK. Come down to the gadget wrapping spiral layout. And I want to make four strands. I want the spacing between the strands at 0.688 or 11 sixteenths. Uh, I want to make the offset from the start and the end three quarters of an inch. And that'll be where I put a cove at each end. And I'm going to be turning a right hand twist. So I'll click OK and then head over to the drawing and select the vertical lines move over to the tool path side and select the profile path select my cut depth at a quarter of an inch make sure my tool is set at the 7558 uh, barley twist bit that I'm going to use check my settings there and hit OK and then I'm going to change the name of this tool path to Cove and click calculate The cove looks good so it's time to head over and select the diagonal lines and move over again and hit a profile tool path. Again the cut depth's a quarter of an inch. The same tool and I want to make sure I'm cutting on the line and then I'm going to come down here and change this tool path to say twist and then hit calculate and we'll take a look at that tool path. That tool path looks okay, so again I need to highlight both of these tool paths and go and save that to a G-code file where we can take it out to the machine and check it out.
So here's the finished barley twist. It's all ready to be taken over to the miter saw and be cut to the finished length. And I guess that's going to wrap up this video. If you've made it to uh, this far in the video, give yourself a big pat on the back. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that little notification bell so you'll get notified when uh, I upload a new video. So we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching.